to use 1950s parlance? Of course it was. <laughs> Andy Oakley, the second baseman, watches a strike 0-1. There's a curveball that misses, one and one. We have yet to talk about the St. Ignatius pitcher, Nick Margiviches. There's Oakley, pops one out to right. St. Ignatius can't make the catch, one and two. Margiviches is a junior who is 8-0 this year. His last outing came in the district final where he won a complete game. Gave up five hits, one run, one walk, and struck out seven. And they've been on a big winning streak. They started off five and five, and they've lost one game since. Winners of 20 of 21. Not bad. One of those wins over St. John's in the Jesuit tournament. Oakley fouls it off again. Count remains two and two. Margovich is not a strong pitcher from the speed standpoint. He's not a power arm, but he's got a, a pretty good fastball that he spots and moves the ball in and out and changes speeds. Oakley again pops it up to right field. This time it will remain fair, but Nick Long makes the catch. Two up, two down. Nick Lankard now, coming to the plate for the Knights. He'll give you opportunities to put the ball in play. He likes to, you know, they use their defense, and it's a strong defense as we've seen so far. So he's not afraid to let you hit the baseball. First pitch swinging, Lankard fouls it off, out of play. But it's, good, but it's gonna be his pitch on his terms if he can help it at all. And he'll try and get ahead of you and and then work the corners. Lankard back up the middle. Fielded by the shortstop off the mound. Finkler to first. And the Knights go one, two, three here in the second. We go to the top of three. Ignatius with a two nothing lead. Back out to Farmer High Community, Cuyahoga Community College. Say that three times fast, <laughs> Rick Poland. One and one count on Michael Wagner as the Knights have a, ma a massive uphill climb down 12 nothing, And Wagner lines it to shortstop, roll bottom, puts it away calmly, one down. Well, and that's the way it goes when it's not going well. You have difficulties holding down the other team, and then when you do hit the ball hard, you hit it right at them. That's two line drives that found infielders' gloves for St. Francis. Joey White now, the number nine hitter for the Knights, takes a strike, 0 and 1 from Margovich's. And this will be his first or second plate appearance. First plate appearance, I think their number nine hitter will be coming up for the third time. So they're getting around the order. And when you keep turning the order over like that to your really good hitters, and St. Ignatius has really good hitters at the top. This one chopped back to the pitcher. Margovich is off the mound. Soft toss to first for the out. Two up, two down. And once again, the throw goes right back to the pitcher. You know what? They came out here today again very confidently and said we're going to come out here we're going to get this game over with <laughs> we're going to go and graduate and it seems like everything is falling into place for him eric smooth swings at the first pitch ball headed out to right field and longo cannot come up with it 0 and one and you know this is all about twitter nowadays rick poland because i'm sure you're into the twitter but uh, on the Twitter page for the St. Ignatius baseball team, said on the bus ride back on Friday night after the Case Western rainout, that Coach Gaynor made an impassioned speech to his team. And that maybe set the tone for what's happening today. 
What a one now on Tamuda. Here a blast out in the center field, but Fabian back to make the catch. Three up, three down for the Knights.